Hey everybody, Brad Greenfield back here again for another Excel 2013 training. And what we're going to be talking about in this video is working with some data, uh, working with several sheets that that's inside one workbook. So when you create an Excel file, you're ex essentially creating a workbook. And then you'll have multiple, or when you start off, you'll just have one sheet down here at the bottom. And it's easy to, to add or remove extra sheets. So the first thing we'll do is we'll work on adding another sheet. So where when I want to add a sheet, I can simply click on this plus icon down here in the bottom um, uh, bar active or activity bar or whatever you want to call it down here at the bottom of Excel and it's going to add a sheet right next to the sheet that I currently have selected so for example if I added a sheet right now it's going to add it right next to that horse sheet and it's going to call it sheet number nine now if I wanted to rename that I could do a right click and rename and I'm just going to name it test sheet okay so if I didn't really like for it to be there I can do a left click and actually drag it wherever I want to. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Let's say that I'm working with this these goat numbers and I'm not too sure about them and I want to make or what I'm doing here I want to make a copy of this sheet so I don't mess up my original data. I could do a right click and select move or copy and I want to stay in book one and I can say where I want to put it. I want to put the sheet before totals. So I want it to be before totals and after the goat and I'll check the create a copy and click OK. So now I have an exact replica of the goat sheet. Now I could add, I could come in here into number two and add something if I wanted to and you can see when I go into the original uh, sheet it's not going to change that. So I'm going to delete that. And one more way that we can copy, if I wanted to copy this goat sheet I could do what I just showed you, right click, move or copy, or I could press the control button and do a left click and drag it wherever I wanted it. Let's say I wanted it here at the end. Now I will release the mouse button before I release the control button. So when I do that, it drops the copy of that sheet right there, and I didn't have to keep my get my hands off the keyboard to do that. Um, so that's, that's another way that you can copy. So I'm just going to delete that. Select delete. So, again, what we have here is just some sample data, state horse show, state beef show, and state goat show. Okay, and then I have my last tab here, numbers. Now, on each one of these shows, uh, or, or pages, worksheets, I have a total here for the entire uh, data set. Okay, it's, uh, it's in F6 on every one of the sheets. So, in my totals, let's say that I want to see uh, what the total um, let me just get rid of these let's say that I want to see what the total animals okay so I want to get a total of all of those animals from these three different sheets into this one last sheet okay again this is all made up and I know that it may not make much sense as to why I do it this way but I just want to show you how to link uh, from one worksheet to another so just like with any formula, I'm going to go ahead and click on, uh, press the enter but or the equals button so that I can let it know that I'm starting a formula. I will then go to the horse sheet, and you can see when I went to the horse sheet, it went ahead and said horse and put an exclamation point. That's just the name of the sheet with an exclamation point, and I'm going to select that cell, and then I'm going to do a plus, and I'm going to go to the beef sheet. You can see the same thing, beef plus and then I will go to the goat and click that one that F6 there and press enter and now on my totals row or totals sheet I have a total of all of the animals that came in that data set so that's a really easy way to go about adding some information there and you can even go about adding that adding this information uh, to another page. So let's say that I have another workbook and I'm going to pull up a workbook from a previous video that I was working on and let's say that I want to do just in a cell here totals. Okay so I'm in a completely new workbook and you can see here that I've got my this one is titled chapter 7 and the other workbook that we're working on is titled uh, book 1. So I've got my total here so all I want to do 
is click on in this cell and click the equals or press the equals button again to let it know I'm doing a formula and then I'm going to go into this cell and I'm going to or into this workbook and I'm going to click on this cell so you can see it does a couple things it puts book one in brackets then lets me know that I'm in the totals page denoted there by that exclamation point and I'm in cell B1 and those dollar signs just lock in that cell B1 so if I hit enter now I've got totals here on this uh, in this workbook here titled chapter 7 now if I go into my if I go back into my numbers here and let's say that something changed if I go into my horse numbers and I change that 134 there to a uh, 224 we can see that the numbers are going to increase here in my totals it increased and also in my chapter or in my chapter 7 workbook that also increased and we could even do formulas so I'm just going to do an example of adding all of that data up into an external workbook so I would again press the equal symbol so that it knows I'm doing a formula and I'll go into my Excel book one go into horse select that cell the F6 and we can see book one page horse and then I'm gonna put the plus symbol go into beef select F6 there again plus symbol and go into goat select F6 there and then press enter and now back on my Excel 7 sheet I've got some data or I've got those formulas pulling in from actually a different workbook so when you have sheets that have external pages there's a couple things you need to be aware of this page is now somewhat dependent upon or this workbook is now somewhat dependent upon this other workbook okay and I can tell that by if I go into my data and I click on the edit links it's showing me here that I've got a link to an outside source titled book one and it's a worksheet type okay so I can um, one thing that you may want to do if you are working with links to external workbooks is have a startup prompt and uh, I recommend leaving this defaulted at the first bulleted item or first radio item so when I close this and open it back up it's gonna give me a prompt saying that this sheet is, is attached to a different um, to a different workbook now I want to show you what happens here let me just click OK for that and close this out so when I double click on this cell to see what the actual formula is it's just titling it book one okay now if I go into my Excel uh, my other Excel workbook titled book one and if I close that let me just do a file and I'm gonna save okay so I saved it under a different name now if I go back into my chapter 7 and do a double click it recognizes that that name was changed so it pulls all that information in for me so now what I want to do is close this out and show you what happens now since I've closed that page and it's not open it's having to go and pull this information from the actual file structure on my computer so as long as that files there this formula will continue to uh, pull from it and be updated by it so that's a really uh, that tool come, could come in handy I would find it you're probably going to be uh, in the situation where you're going to link from more separate worksheets inside of a workbook than you would be uh, linking from external workbooks to another workbook so um, that'll do it for this Excel 2013 training um,